welcome back to another video in this video as i mentioned in my last video i'm going to review the 2023 japanese sci-fi drama pending train you can currently watch it on netflix it stars yamata yuki as kayashima san and akaso eshi as shirahama san there's someone else that stars in it, but I'm not even gonna pretend to know how to say her name. She was really lovely though, and her character was Hatano-san. The story starts off with these three main characters and a bunch of other people. They're on a train, they're going to work, they're going on their morning commute, wherever that may be, and all of a sudden the train derails and it ends up in this desolate place that turns out to be a post-apocalyptic future where the human race is apparently extinct. First of all, I loved the premise of this show. I'm super into sci-fi, super into time travel, all of that. But I think even if you're not into those things, you would still enjoy this show because that's not really the main theme. The whole post-apocalyptic world is more like a backdrop to the real story, which personally I felt it was about healing, it was about like self-discovery, friendship, brotherhood. It even had like a little dash of romance, which we live for we love that i really enjoyed the acting in the show i was knee deep into kayashima san's internal struggle i really wanted him to overcome whatever demons were eating at his soul i definitely wanted him to get the girl and for a hot minute there i thought oh no is this like a love triangle is that where we're going with this but thank god that it was not the case because i hate a love triangle trope it's never fun for me i just want to see everybody have a happy ending and it never works out in a love triangle somebody always ends up not getting the girl you know what i mean or, or not getting the guy usually not getting the girl right um but it was actually more of like a love circle because she was in love with him but the other guy was in love with her and it was kind of like going this way anyways I felt that the show had a lot of heart and it was really relatable. Um, I like that they dedicated a few episodes to the passenger, to like the other passengers because I felt like it gave the audience a full picture. You know, I always love a mini story arc. Uh, I feel like it brings the piece to life. Otherwise, it just feels flat. I'll say though, the production quality was questionable at best. Uh, there was that one scene where the guy gets stabbed and the blood literally looks like it came from Party City. I mean, they might have low-key just ordered the wrong shade online. I don't know what was happening there, but it was so unconvincing that it was a little bit painful to watch. The thing is, I can get past poor production quality and I can even get past poor acting if the storyline is compelling because our minds and our imagination can fill in the blanks, right? Like you can see a stick figure person and know that that's a human and not a dog because your mind is filling in the gaps it's filling in the blanks so i can upgrade the production quality in my mind but if the story is bad then the whole thing is bad right because at the end of the day a tv drama is just a story it's stories uh so while the production quality was not great the acting and the storyline were really good and they carried this series they honestly just carried it Overall, I think the story was really beautiful. I love the scene where the brother was like, maybe life has been rough for you, but my life was full of joy because you were by my side and I only have happy memories thanks to you. I feel like that scene was so powerful and so full of emotion. I swear, like my heart was singing. It was literally singing. And of course, we can't forget the scene where he finally gets the girl. I was so here for it. I just loved it. And then there was that last scene where the bromance was everything. Like it was just, it was so full of passion it was so full of all the things so that's why i say it's not really about time travel it's more about like the the relationships that people were building in this and that is all for this video if you have not watched penning train on netflix i highly recommend you watch it keep in mind production quality eh, not that great if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one